Ladies and gentlemen, I am overwhelmed. Freedom emanating from this gathering. Americans, strong of tooth and stout of spirit. Who could believe? Who could know? It has been ten score and a score and a half more since our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal, a point many hold in contempt with a passion hotter than the lead lodged within my skull. Indeed, this passion must resort to physical violence. The thought of freedom would be anathema to those who wish to rule through tyranny. It pains me that my time is short, for as I gaze upon you, I am overwhelmed. America, as it can be, multitudes from diverse continents and islands united in belief and spread about the Union. I dreamed of you at a fraction of your glory. My attempts at diplomacy were seen as weakness by tyrants and others with dictatorial tendencies. But brave men have sacrificed their lives, the fullest measure of devotion, making it necessary to highly resolve that these dead have not died in vain. Tell me, friend, do you truly value human equality? constitutional liberty? The rights of man in our union present a struggle to maintain in this world. The form and substance of a government whose foremost objective is to elevate the condition of man, all men, not merely by adding coin to his purse or beef to his diet, but to lift artificial weights from the backs of all to clear obstacles from the path of a laudable pursuit, to afford all an unhindered start and equal footing in the race of life. Those noble words rang too hollow when within certain administrations. Certain men toiled to physical exertion without benefit of bread or hope of a less painful tomorrow. At odds with this great republic's most basic tenets, by being branded with the mark of one who claims ownership of others. The true magnificence of our union does not lie within the ability to deprive others of life, but in the capacity for nourishing and extending hope to those of a different standing. If all could witness this vision, the rebellion might have been avoided. The cause of the country as a whole could be advanced. But what of this gathering? Have you no blemish? Will this magnificence be revealed to me alone? As life flows and consciousness ebbs, my beloved warms my deathbed. Is there no way to impart the potential of the Union, the glory of America? Mary approaches. Curiosity inspires a thirst for knowledge of you, but I do not control circumstances. Indeed, circumstances guide my being. I must rejoin her. She is grieving. And soon that grief will multiply. She's a wondrous woman. <laughs>